In this lesson, I'm going to be showing you how to generate the Kubernetes data encryption config. So the first thing I'm going to do is generate an encryption key so that we can include it in our data encryption config file. Now be sure to check the description below the video because you can find the commands that I'm going to use in the description if you want to copy and paste them or just use them as a reference. And I'm going to go ahead and change directory into my Kubernetes the hard way folder, which is just KTHW. And that's where I have all my files that I've been generating so far in this course. You can see all my certificate files and kubeconfig files. And I'm going to go ahead and put my data encryption config file here as well. The first command that I'm going to run is going to be to set an environment variable called encryption key. And I'm just gonna generate an encryption key and I'm gonna store it in that variable so that I can then later on include it in my configuration file. So I'm just gonna use this command to generate the encryption key. I'm gonna do a head-c32 from dev slash urandom. And this just generates a random string and I'm taking the first 32 characters of that string. Then I'm going to go ahead and pipe that command to base64 to base64 encode the string. And that's gonna be my encryption key. So I'm just gonna echo that variable so we can see the value of it. You can see it's just a random string of letters and numbers and characters. So that's what we're going to give to Kubernetes as our encryption key. Now we just need to generate a configuration file which will contain this value. And I'm just gonna use this cat command to do that. And again, you can find this below the video. But what I'm doing is I'm creating a file called encryption-config.yaml, and this is going to be the contents of that file. And I'm referencing that encryption underscore key variable which I created up here. So the value of this variable, which is gonna be this string, it's gonna get put into my file right there in that position. So I'm gonna go ahead and run that. And if you look, I now have an encryption config.yaml file here. So let's just look at what it contains. It contains exactly what we had in that cat command that we ran. You can see that I have my encryption key stored in the file right there. So now we have generated the data encryption config. That's what this file is. It's actually very easy to do. We've already finished it. All we need to do now is upload this file to our two controller servers so that later on in this course, we can use this configuration file to configure our Kubernetes cluster. So we're gonna go ahead and upload the file. And I'm going to look for my two Kubernetes controllers. And as you can see, I've got my five cloud servers that we spun up earlier in the course. And the first two are gonna be my Kubernetes controllers. So I'm gonna take the public IP of my first Kubernetes controller here. I'm gonna copy that public IP, and I need to use the public IP because I'm accessing it from my local machine, and the private IP is not accessible from my local machine, so I will need to use the public IP. So I'm just gonna copy that. And then I'm gonna use SCP as we have before, to go ahead and upload that encryption config.yaml. So I'm gonna specify user at for the username, and then I'll paste in that public IP. And I'm gonna put a colon and a tilde forward slash for the destination directory. So we're gonna put this encryption config just in the home directory of user on our first controller cloud server. So I'm gonna run that command. And of course I need to enter my cloud server password and I've successfully uploaded this file to my first cloud server. So now we're gonna do the same for the second server. And I'm just going to copy the public IP for cloud server number two, which is my second controller server for my Kubernetes cluster. So I'm just gonna rerun the same command, but I'm gonna change the IP to point to my second cloud server there. And now I have successfully uploaded my encryption config.yaml to both of my cloud servers. And that's it. Creating the encryption config is a fairly short process. 
and we've already finished it. We've created the encryption key. We've included that in an encryption config file. And then we uploaded that file to both of our Kubernetes controllers. Now that we have our encryption config file on both of our controllers, we will be ready to use it to activate data encryption when we stand up our Kubernetes cluster.